Wow, these games look really cool. Can't wait for them to come out. What's up guys? Welcome back to Warner Rookie Gaming. Uh, I just it's been a while since I posted a video and I kinda wanted to do one of some upcoming games that are coming out in the about the mid to end June and there's a lot of games right now but I actually came up with a list of five of them and like I said I haven't posted in a while so I kind of wanted to make this new video got my cool new setup behind me you know with my Funkos and my Oculus in the background over there this is kind of a new segment I want to do every month on the channel is just go through my top five games for each month coming up and when they're coming out and just kind of playing the trailers and the videos and stuff like that. It's kind of going off my buddy Brandon Harder, who's on Harder Gaming. You should definitely look him up. Uh, he does a lot of videos. Like he's doing one every week on like certain questions you get to email to him. So I kind of do it a little bit of a spinoff, a little bit different. Because honestly, some of these games I didn't even know were actually coming out or they were even a thing. So that's why I kind of like me and I want to let everybody else in the gaming community kind of get a view of what these games and the trailers coming out for them and some of them are well, there is one game that is a remastered version from a game that a lot of people know but there are a lot of games on this list when I looked up that are just little games that a lot of people don't know but they look amazing and I really think that's a really good thing about making these videos and that's why I'm going to plan on making them. So let's not wait any longer here's number five on the list. Number five on my list is a game called Summer in Maria and this is a cool indie adventure game uh, made by Chai Big and it goes with you have to control this girl named Cora as she explores her surroundings and learns new skills and, and pretty much just grow up with her is what they say they want your experience to be. From watching from the videos and stuff it looks pretty cool because you can actually sail to different islands and farm uh, pretty much just do anything. It's an adventure game where you're trying to just raise yourself and raise her and just sail around. So this is number five on my list. It's, it comes out for PC and Switch on uh, June 16th, which is actually really soon. It's probably one I'll look into getting if you have kids that really want to play something like non-violent or something. This is a really good game to pick up. But overall, like I said, the graphics look really great. It kind of reminds me of uh, Link, uh, the Zelda games, uh, the cartoon aspect of it, the uh, Skyward Sword, I think it was. So yes, this is definitely a game that looks like you, if you enjoy like indie or cartoonish uh, survival like adventure games, this is definitely a game you would want to pick up. So number four on my list is uh, Beyond Blue. This is a great, great, I'm really excited about this game. Just And I actually just looked it up recently, it's by Eline Media. And it's single player adventure, adventure casual, uh, it's kind of a simulator type thing. It reminds me of uh, Subnautica and stuff like that which is kind of cool but the graphics are amazing pretty much you go you're a, on a team of scientists a research scientist your name's Maria and you do a bunch of deep dives and you're just trying to interact with the creatures and uh, you develop a lot of cool stuff to like work with them and then just learn a lot about creatures in the ocean which is kind of cool uh, it comes out June 11th uh, it's gonna be for PC Xbox and PS4 so sorry switch fans but um like i said it's just really engulfs you in if you look at all the videos online of the trailers and stuff so this is something i'm definitely going to pick up uh you can uh, look at it in steam right now if you really want to but like i said it's pretty much like a subnautica type of adventure thing but i just really really excited about this the next one on the list is waking at number three this game is by Tiny Build. It's an action indie game. It's actually, this is another one I'm really excited about. This whole list I'm really excited about. But it, it pretty much goes to a background that you're this person that's in a coma. And you have to fight through the demons in your mind and use your good memories that you have to be as weapons to fight your way so you don't die pretty much. You're pretty much just trying to fight from dying in the coma and coming out of it. It's kind of like a little bit of a darker game from watching the videos and stuff. But honestly, it has really good graphics like, the, uh, like Beyond Deep we were talking about. But you pretty much just try to work your way out of that, that coma. And this game is for PC and Xbox. And it comes out June 18th. Um, definitely recommend it. The next game on this list is Burnout Paradise Remastered. This game is a classic from my childhood. 
Uh, it, there has not been a Burnout series released in a while, and it has, it's the first time it's ever gone to Switch, which is handheld, which is great. So if I'm like traveling or something, this is definitely a game I'm going to pick up for it. Their master graphics are fantastic, and it just, like I said, brings back your childhood. And there's open road features uh, 60 FPS on the Switch, which is really good. Uh, like I said, it's never had that before. It's packed with eight pieces of extra content already with it, which is the, all the DLCs throughout the years. And like I said, it's a really, really awesome game, and I cannot wait for it to come out. And it comes out on June 19th, so here in about a few weeks from when I'm uh, talking about it right now. And it has, a, has multiplayer too, which just like the classic. So like I said, blast from the past, great thing to pick up for your kids or anything mobile on your Switch if you just want to have a good time and tear up some rubber. Finally, number one on the list, The Last of Us Part 2. I'm really excited for this just because we've been waiting so long for this to happen and we thought it was going to be pushed back the release date because of uh, COVID-19. But Naughty Dog has kept their promise of June 19th release date, which is really exciting. It's here in a few weeks. And if you want us to come over to Wonder Rookie Gaming page on Facebook, we're going to be doing a walkthrough of the part one if you really haven't seen it before. Uh, but The Last of Us Part 2 starts off uh, five years after their, the dangerous journey of the post-pandemic United States. Ellie and Joel had finally settled down in Jackson, Wyoming and they're living among a thriving community of survivors uh, with peace and stability despite the constant threat of infected and other more desperate survivors. When uh, there's a violent event that happens and Ellie decides to venture off on her own to carry out justice and find closure and she starts, uh, you gotta pretty much go out and find all those responsible one by one. And it's just, it's kind of cool because your actions in this game determine which way you go so it's kind of cool so you can choose one way or the other and that's how your story goes so it's not like a preset plan but like I said this game is I'm so excited for it the gameplay looks great they actually had some footage of it before this is the trailer for it um, but just the graphics and just the open world concept of it is what makes me super excited to start this up and finish up the last of us journey well, there it is. I hope you enjoyed the list of my top five games for June that are coming out here soon. Uh, like I said earlier in the video, we're going to do one every month, so please subscribe to the channel. Uh, go to our Facebook page and like it. If you guys have any games that you're excited that are coming out later this year or maybe next month, uh, please let me know and I will make sure to do a review on it and we can put it into the video. Just send me a message on YouTube or our Facebook page, Warner Rookie Gaming. I'll definitely put it in there, but I appreciate everybody's input, so even if you have any suggestions for the upcoming videos, just let me know.